How is it going guys? Slippy Jim here. Welcome back to my intergalactic adventurer series here in modded Minecraft. In the last episode we landed on the planet Mars which was pretty epic. As you can see we actually landed here twice in the last episode but anyway that's another story. We have a basic area here where I'm going to be setting up my base here on Mars. The uh, landing pad here is in the exact spot that we need it to be in to be able to take off from here and land back in the center of our launch chamber. Over there is the uh, the space buggy. I might have to move that actually because we're going to be clearing out a lot of this uh, this area and leveling leveling it, getting ready to build. So between episodes, what I've done is just set, uh, set up a crafting table and I've also gathered a bunch of the Mars rock that we're going to need uh, for the filler. and st Stuck that in a chest here, basically. So that's going to be... Uh, used in the filler to fill in any dips and hollows in the ground when we're level leveling it off and doing some terraforming. So, uh, let's get a bunch of this stuff here. So let me show you guys what I'm planning on building here for my Martian base. We're going to have the, uh, the launch pad there, so that's going to be the center of the base. Then we're going to have three, uh, like, living habitats here. And we're going to be having a oxygen farm here at the back. And then at the front, we're going to have an area where I'll have the uh, the space buggy launch pad and stuff like that, or refueling pad. So it's going to be like a, a circular type base centered around the, uh, the launch pad. That's how we're going to set this up. So I think we're going to need a fair bit of ground to, uh, to build all this stuff once it's... Uh, you know, once we lay it out, it's going to take up up a fair bit of area. So, I'm going to be using the filler to level a whole bunch of this ground, and also to fill in any of the like dips and hollows, like the mini crater over there and stuff like that. Um, I'm just thinking we'll probably want to mark mark the area, but let's let's move Mr. Wiggles. So, Mr. Wiggles, you're probably going to be in the way there. Follow me over here. We might put him. Um, we might get him to sit down over here on the launch pad. Come over here, Mr. Wiggles. Come on, a little bit further. There you go. What is he doing? Jumping around. Okay. A little bit further would be nice. I don't want him to get in the way of the, uh, the filler because uh, I don't really know what it's going to do to him. And after the death of one of my prized, valued pets, Oswald, back in the oak, he's jumping again. What the heck, man? He loves it. All right. Uh, sit there, buddy. Okay. Good, good, good. Um, all right. Now, uh, where will we start with this? I might move the... I might move the buggy actually. We'll move that out of the way because I'm probably going to want to terraform this area here as well. It's full of fuel, so you should be right to drive it down here somewhere. I've got a. You can see those two like landing cushion things from where we um where we landed on Mars initially, and they're like you come, you crash down, and you bounce around every everywhere in those things. It's actually what they actually use to, to land stuff, I believe, like the lunar, the lunar, uh, not the lunar buggy, the Mars rover. I think that's what, it, what they um, land them in. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, the battery's flat in this thing. Interesting. Right, we'll pick this up. Just fill that hole in. Okay, so this area here, we're probably going to be clearing all the way out to there. Um, there's actually, over here, there's actually a really, really tall Martian mountain. It looks awesome, actually. I can't wait to um, get out and start exploring Mars. But uh, we want to set up our base first, so we have a place to come back and refill our oxygen tanks and all of that stuff. Uh, okay, let's see. So from here, I want to go one, two, three, four, five. Did I count that correctly? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, seven, eight. 
And then I want five. And then we want another eight there. And then eight after that. I sort of know the rough dimensions. So that will be the far end. Actually, did I come... Did I come far enough? Second guessing myself. Let's just double check this. Uh, from the center. Basically, you want to go eight out this way. Then eight from that. Let me just count this again, because I think I got it wrong over on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then, so that's going to be the exit where we're going to have like, um, the edge of this habitat. And then we want to go eight, uh, five actually, and then eight out this way. And that's going to be the center. And then we want to go eight more. Yeah, that's what I got wrong. So, and then we'll go like an extra three. That's quite a large area. That's a very large area. It's going to be quite a big base, actually. All right, now we do this side. Let's just count these out. Um, all right, eight to there. Then we want to go five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, and then a few extra blocks there. So about there, I might actually line that up with that, with that rock formation over there. So we'll move that to there cool and then we'll want to go out this way as well so we'll have to work that out from here eight so i want to have everything in proportion basically uh, and then we want to go eight to there and then another eight then three blocks to there so this is basically the half half of the area from here to the um to the launch pad and then we're going to want to go back the other side the same sort of area Let's count this out as well. You guys know what it's like with Minecraft. You got to count all the blocks when you're building stuff. There is a tape measure. Uh, to... There is a tape measure mod, but I don't know. I didn't really get comfortable with using it. I think that's where we want to go to. So all of this hill is going to have to get leveled. But that's basically the area that we want. I might just chuck out some of this stuff. And we'll grab some of this uh, this rock for the filler in a second. Let's just chuck that out. Grab that, grab that. All right, we got the filler. Grab as much as this of this stuff as I can fit in. So we're going to basically need to feed the filler with materials for it to fill all of the dips and hollows and holes when it's leveling stuff. Let's chuck out some of this stuff we're not going to use straight away. So we can fit more rock in. Um, Where will we start? Over here, I guess. I think it has like, the 
The maximum size you can do is similar to the quarry size, the quarry from Buildcraft, which I think is 64 blocks. 64 by 64. I could be wrong though. We might start here. So I'll put one of these uh, landmarks down. And we'll take it back to, to the launch pad as close as we can get on the same level. About there, I guess. Don't want to get too close to Mr. Wiggles. All right, and we'll go out from there. Yep, that's going to work. Sweet. So we'll, we'll do it in quarters, I guess, just because it's a huge area. Um, we'll line up with this one. I think that's the line there that we want. And we have to get on the right level with it as well. So yeah, I think I need to go down a block. Yeah, because that's not connecting now. Go to about there. All right, well that's connecting, which is good. I just need to um, line it up with the other side. Um, so if, if I, um, basically what you want to do is you want to right click these on the corners and that, then it will form a square, even if you don't have the fourth one placed. So I'll plonk that down, uh, connect up the power with the Tesseract and let's just go back here and check. I always forget to pick up the landmarks and uh by the time I've like by the time I've like watched the quarry do its thing and got all excited about that, I I remember and I go to pick them up and they've despawned. So I'm gonna try not to do that this time because we only have four of them. And uh Yeah, it's gonna have to fill that it's gonna have to fill that center mini crater in as well. Let's put some of these materials in here for that. And we'll set this to uh, horizon, I think it is. Flatten horizon. Let's go with horizon. Either of these will do. And there it goes. It's super fast. If you have enough power feeding into it, of course, which we do, because it's using my power back in the overworld. How quick is that? That is awesome. Definitely saves time, even if you have to set it up initially. Um, it should be, yeah, there we go. So I should be carving out this as well. I wonder if I can collect some of these blocks because I might need some extras. Mind you, this area here is the main area where we needed to fill in, um, fill in some holes and stuff like that. Okay. Look how awesomely flat that is now. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to move this along a bit. We're going to have to set up the landmarks again. I'll just grab all of this out of here. Uh, we'll probably go across in this direction. So, grab that. Put one of these down here. Actually, there. And out in this direction. All right, along a bit, just there. Looks like it's gonna line up there nicely for us. Um, and we need to be down on the right level as well, don't we? We'll just carve this out here. Easy. That down there.
Okay, that should be in the right spot for us. And we just need to place one more landmark over near the launch pad somewhere. Yeah, looks like the um, Lunar Night, uh, not the Lunar Night, the Martian Night is upon us. So the days are really short on Mars, even com compared to the overworld. Uh, okay, I think that's going to line up there. So if we click on this one, beautiful. And then we just have to place this down again on the corner. Uh, put some materials in there. Switch that quickly. <laughs> To horizon. Is that still going? Yeah, there it goes. Hopefully we've got enough materials here. I, I don't think that this actually needs to fill anything here. So it might not actually use any blocks. Just wait for it to do its thing. And then we'll have the um the hill up here to do next. Pick up the landmarks. Yeah, I'm not sure if they changed um the way the way it works since the last time I used the um the filler, but the blocks used to just sit there on the ground and um, cause a fair bit of lag, but it looks like, almost looks like they vanish after a few seconds. Unless it's just the marsh in low gravity. Pick this up. Yeah, like Tesseract just makes it super easy to have power. Super convenient power. Tons of it. Um, <laughs> it's pretty OP actually. I mean, tesseracts are quite uh, tricky to make initially, but once you have a few, it's awesome. Let's just make that nice and natural looking. Okay, so that's half of the area done that we needed to uh, terraform. And it's not really terraforming, it's more like uh, flattening the area. The landscape kind of thing. So I'll put one there. There is actually a terraformer that you can make with Galacticraft. Just don't know exactly what it does, but I think it maybe terraforms like the ground. We might try it out once we get a bit of the um the Martian ore happening. There's some really cool stuff you can make with the Martian ore. I think it's called Dash Ore. Oh, this is super dark in here. There we go, we came out the other side, so I'm going to put a marker on that. Let's go back through. That should be lined up for us. Yeah, I don't know, Mars is... Uh, Let's just place that there. I'll go grab the landmarks again. <laughs> Gonna be a pro at this by the end of today. Mars is a pretty cool place. Like, I don't know, something about the moon. Like, everything's gray, like the moon rock and everything. But Mars has got that warmer red color to it. It's kind of... It's a little bit nicer, if you know what I mean. Like, aesthetically. Plus, you don't have that endless night on the, that you get on the moon. All right, let's uh, link this up again. Put some of these in, because I think there was a little bit of a hollow back behind the hill that we might need to fill with this. Yeah, another thing that you can make with the dash uh, ore that you find here on Mars is a, um, a cryogenic chamber. How cool does that sound? And basically what that allows you to do, is that working? Yeah, there it goes, look at that. It's like chewing into that hill over there. That's awesome. It's like giving us a cross section of the hill. Yeah, the cryogenic chamber, what that does is 
it allows you to sleep through the night in space. So, you know, if you're on, if you're on Mars or especially the moon, you can basically sleep through the night in a cryogenic chamber, which you can't actually do in a bed, in a regular vanilla bed. Doesn't work in space with Galactic Craft. So this could take a while for that to um for the filler to level this area because it's it's fairly big. I'm gonna need to get my oxygen production going pretty soon because uh, I have very few tanks left. Well, I guess I have four. That should last a fair while, but unless we get oxygen production set up pretty quick, we're gonna be in trouble. Looks like there's a few little caves down there and stuff. Look at that hill. That looks so cool. It's like it's a cross section of the different kinds of of uh, Martian rock. What do we got here? Subsurface rock, surface rock. It's basically three different shades of um, Martian rock, I think. Grab that torch. Try and collect as much of this these blocks as I can because we might need some of this for um for stuff later on when we get building. While we're waiting, we could probably feed Mr. Wiggles. I did bring some of the foods that he that he requires from Earth. Um, let's see. So he needs right now he needs the flint and steel. His favorite food is flint and steel. I don't know why, like a like a slime creature would um, want to eat flint and steel. But anyway, whatever rings your bell, Mr. Wiggles. So uh, while we're waiting for that to get leveled, let's, let's um, feed him one and see what happens. Uh, there we go. Here you go, buddy. Ah, okay. We can grow, breed, heal, or strengthen. Um, I guess we could grow or strengthen. Let's strengthen. All right, so his max his max health is 30 now, I think. Oh, he wants another flint and steel. So there's no cooldown on feeding these things, I guess. Uh, I brought a few of these along. Let's see, uh, see if we can grow him again. Uh, breed. Heal. We'll heal him up to full health. What does he want to eat now? Another flint and steel. Come on, buddy. They must be like corn chips to this guy. I brought a few of the different foods along um, that these things are supposed to eat. Uh, let's grow him this time. Uh, or should we... Let's strengthen him again. I'm not sure what the... Uh, I'm not sure what the breed option does. Unless they pop out an egg or something. Oh, he wants another flint and steel. These things don't stack, so I didn't bring that many of them. Uh, I've got like gold ingots, redstone repeaters, some crazy stuff like that. They eat boats. Cooked fish kind of makes sense. Wooden doors. But yeah, gold ingots. He's got very expensive tastes. Some of these slimelings do. But this guy, all he wants is the flint and steel. So uh, we'll have to head back to Earth to get some more food for this guy. At some point, not right now though, because uh, we've got a lot to do still here on Mars. So yeah, that area looks like it's all leveled out for us. And we've just got this area back, the main part of the hill to level out. Um, so, let's see. I might actually... I might have to clear a little bit of this by hand. Wow, I really need to eat right now. Where is my, where's my NEI? That's really weird. Oh, well, we'll pick this up. Uh, let's just grab the rock out of there. And we'll set up the markers again, the landmarks. So I think about there. And out to this spot again.
And then we want to go, I'm just going to grab that torch. Yeah, apparently for the slimelings, you can make little backpacks and things for them, but I don't have the materials for that with me here on Mars. Unfortunately, I didn't anticipate it. Let's just dig through here because we need to be at the same level. And it's a good opportunity to grab some of this moon rock as well. I cannot see where I'm going here. There we go. Oops, went a bit too far. So I'll place that there, and I guess I should build this back up so there's not less, some random tunnel. Make sure the color matches. There we go, beautiful. Grab these extra space rocks. All right, well, we're nearly done. This will be the last quarter for the whole area that we need to clear. There will be a little bit of a strip that, I, that I'll need to clear, but I might do that manually. And then we'll be able to start um, working on the oxygen farm, which is getting more and more crucial as time goes on and we use up our oxygen. Let's just go grab those landmarks. Uh, before I forget again, I wonder if it would be worth bringing a quarry to Mars so we can try and get some of that dash ore. I just don't like carving these massive chunks out of like random chunks that the quarry does. There's a few different quarry mods that you can get that are less, you know, they don't make a huge eyesore whenever you use them. But I'm kind of familiar with the Buildcraft quarry. Um, if you didn't know already, I do have a dedicated Minecraft channel for modded Minecraft. Let's just get this thing running. And on that, I am planning on using a completely different quarry type, which is the Ender Quarry, I think it's called. That sounds pretty awesome. Okay, so this, this should start leveling out. And I might, while we're waiting for that, I might just carve out this section here as well that that we're going to have to do manually. Down through here. Shouldn't take too long. This this fadger is super OP, so let's fill these holes in. Just trying to get the right color here. <laughs> There we go. Sweet. So yeah, we haven't really done anything super mind-blowingly exciting in this episode, but this is all part of what you have to do when you are when you're settling on Mars. You have to terraform it, you have to like, you know, build the foundations of your base. Someone's got to do it. And uh, I kind of like to show you guys some of the hard work that you have to do to set up these bases. If you play Minecraft, you know anyway, but it uh, gives a bit more of a legit feel to it, to the playthrough that way. I could just skip this and like come back and say, oh, hey, here's this massive, awesome base that I built between episodes, but I don't like to do that. I like to pretty much, I've always liked to pretty much show every single step of the way with my playthroughs, but I know that's not really what, <clears throat> some people want to want to just see like the highlights, but you know, each to their own. Um, sometimes if you're, if you're learning Minecraft, you kind of want to see every single step to work out exactly how people do stuff and like the techniques and stuff, stuff like that. pick these up I guess why is that stopped oh it's still going just got a massive area to clear 
What may have happened as well, it, it may have used the reserve energy in like the buffers of all my dynamos back on Earth. And now it's like just running on the um, power as it's generated. So it might be slightly, slightly slower power flow. I don't know. I'm just guessing. It's probably running at the same speed as it was before. Wow, we've got a lot of blocks here now. A lot of that rock stuff. I'm just going to make another chest. Stick that down. Um, where will we put it? It's getting a bit crowded up here on this platform. Uh, I might put it where that magnum torch is. Double chest for the win. I probably should have brought some like diamond chests and stuff, but... I don't know, I always forget. Chest is such a basic thing. Oh no! I'm out of oxygen. I'm gonna have to switch tanks here. This is our second last set of tanks as well. Pretty sure it is anyway. Unless I've got another another pair of tanks stashed away somewhere. I don't think I do though. So yeah, we have cleared the, the whole area out here, which is pretty awesome. This is gonna be a sweet Sweet area to be uh, building our base in. And uh, we're going to get working on that next, starting with the oxygen farm. So we're going to have to get that up and running super fast so we can refill our oxygen tanks. Uh-oh. Threw away my Vajra. But uh, we might actually do that in the next episode since we are running out of time this time around. Let's just sort out some of this stuff here in the chest. Um, and I might need to recharge my Vajra. All right. Well, that is where we're going to leave it for today, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode, even if we didn't really do much apart from clear the whole area with the filler. But um, these things got to be done. So I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Please remember to rate and comment. I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Slippy Jim out.